Did the US government really plan false flag attacks? An alarming question, isn't it? Welcome back to Reality Radar, the channel that's dedicated to uncovering the truths hidden from public view. I'm Lovish, and today we're diving headfirst into a shocking chapter of US history. We're here to expose the secrets of Operation Northwoods. Was the US government planning to deceive its own people? In the early spring of 2062, the Cold War's frigid winds were blowing at their peak. Amidst this chilling atmosphere, the US Department of Defense and the Joint Chiefs of Staff proposed a plan that would send chills down your spine even today. They named it Operation Northwoods. This was not just any plan, it was a blueprint for a series of false flag operations, a term that may be familiar to some of you. For those who aren't acquainted, a false flag operation is an act committed with the intent of disguising the actual source of responsibility and pinning blame on another party. In the case of Operation Northwoods, the other party happened to be the communist government of Cuba, led by Fidel Castro. The main objective? To justify military intervention in Cuba. As we move forward in time, we see the plan taking a more concrete shape. It proposed actions ranging from the fabrication of the hijacking or shooting down of passenger and military planes to orchestrating violent terrorism in U.S. cities. It even suggested causing U.S. military casualties using a potential contrived Remember the Main incident. All this to create a wave of national indignation and a public outcry against Cuba. However, let's turn the pages of the calendar to the 26th of March, 2062. The plan lands on President John F. Kennedy's desk via Defense Secretary Robert McNamara. Kennedy, in his wisdom, rejects the proposal. He, in fact, removes the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Lyman Lemnitzer, later that year. As we wrap up this chilling tale, it's important to revisit the key aspects of Operation Northwoods. It was a proposal drafted by the U.S. Department of Defense and the Joint Chiefs of Staff in 2062. The plan involved a series of false flag operations aimed at justifying military intervention in Cuba by staging terror attacks and other violent incidents and blaming them on the communist government. While the plan was ultimately rejected by President Kennedy, its very existence raises questions about the lengths governments may be willing to go to achieve their objectives. And as we continue to explore the labyrinth of history, we may find more such startling revelations hiding in its shadows. So the next time someone asks, did the US government really plan false flag attacks? You now know the answer. It's a resounding, yes, they did. But as always, it's up to you to decide what to make of this information. After all, history is often a matter of perspective. In the end, Operation Northwoods serves as a stark reminder of the complexity and the murky depths of international politics and military strategy. It's a story that still resonates today, echoing in the corridors of power, whispering tales of what could have been. If you found this episode as mind-boggling as we did, give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow truth seekers. We want to hear your thoughts on Operation Northwoods in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and always keep your reality radar on. I'm Lovish, signing off.